My name's Don Wedgwood. I'm SVP of Broadcast Technology at DAZN. Some of the greatest technology challenges have been uh, around scale um, and distribution, I think are the two that really spring to mind. Um, firstly, on scale, it's a thirsty business sport because the traffic that we have comes um, in peaks and troughs. So on a Tuesday afternoon, we might not have much going on in the sporting calendar, but on a Saturday afternoon, there's hundreds of sporting events that we've got to cater for. And if you think of the technology behind that, you've got to be ready for a couple of minutes before kickoff, millions of people coming onto your platform and wanting that experience to be perfect from the first second of video that they see. So scaling up technically in the background is where somebody like AWS really help us. And the way we use technology through AWS is critical to being ready at scale whenever we need to be. Our business model is really about giving the sports fans what we think they deserve. So a better deal. Um, without trying to come across too salesy, we, we're really passionate about that. We're sports fans ourselves by nature. We see an opportunity with the way our lives are evolving in terms of how we consume content. Technology is, is playing a perfect part in that to be able to make us more mobile, more on demand. It's our business to, to give live sport to the sports fans in a flexible, simple way, taking the complexity out of being a sports broadcast customer. So whether that's easy contract terms, where if you are a Premier League fan and at the end of the season you really don't want to pay for the months that, that the season is not happening, well, great, come back to us at the beginning of the season. We'll just pause your account. So the cloud's enabling us to engage sports fans in so many ways. I mean, there's the, the well-documented ones around scale, having good efficiency of, of the compute power that we want. But, but what we really see is the ability to innovate fast. I run a video engineering team within the business, and uh, if we wanted to find out what the best encoders are out in the, in the marketplace at the moment, it would involve having boxes delivered, plugging them in, having rack space for them, making sure they're in their perfect environment. We can get all that done within a couple of days, all in AWS. So I think there's two areas that really excite us when we look at technology um, about our drive to engage sports fans more. One is around high-powered compute. So that's something we're working with AWS about having more and more capability within compute to do smart things as close to the consumer as possible. So we're already thinking about the devices that they're looking at our, our content on. Those are smart already. They can do a huge amount. We need to be able to do complex processes really quickly at scale in the cloud to be able to be always on and, and, and readily available for the sports fan. The other really is around the, the data that we can glean from our customers' behavior, what they tell us and, and, and what we can tell from their, uh, their actions, how they view, what they view, when they view. It's essential then that, that machine learning and the techniques around machine learning uh, keep developing because that's a critical part of our business now in terms of understanding the behavior of those sports fans. I think when you take sports broadcasting out of the constraints of a linear 24-7 channel, then it's essential that you're looking at what the user wants you to give them, okay? Because now, if the constraints are gone, we have to make sure that we're getting even more accurate around the content proposition. But what we need is that data to be able to say, what do the fans want to be doing before the match they've come on to watch starts? And similarly, with our non-live, content, our, our on-demand content, if it doesn't get watched, if we do a mini documentary series around a fight and nobody watches it, well, we won't do that again. We'll change it, we'll talk to the customer and do something different. We don't want to spend money when we're not making money, okay? So the cloud helps us to say on that Tuesday afternoon when there's no sports content there, we can wind down our cost base a little bit so we can turn off those services and say, we'll be ready for the next live sporting event in the schedule 